don't always win 6-0, but when I do, it's with my Hail team. Greetings, and welcome to another Pokemon Online commentary by yours truly, the smart, funny, and devilishly handsome Venomous Woe. Now, this is an interesting match I had. It was basically a hail-on-hail matchup, which is not something you usually see. I mean, it's rare to find a hail team, let alone two of them go at it at each other. If you couldn't tell by the title, I have a Rem in my team, and he does exceptionally well this game. So yeah, let's just skip ahead to the team preview, shall we? As you can see, we both have hail teams. We have some Pokemon in common, such as Obama Snow, Mammoth Swine, and Gliscor. But we also have some Pokemon that are different. The things I'm most concerned about are Cloyster and Gengar, because if Cloyster is allowed to set up, he can potentially wreak havoc on my team. And um, Gengar outspeeds all of my Pokemon except for Alakazam and Mamoswine, so I'm going to need to be wary of him as well. The rest? Eh, I don't know. I'm not really concerned about them, but let's just keep an eye on them, shall we? Anyways, let's start the battle. So I'm going to lead off with my Tentacruel as he leads off with his Obama Snow, just to get that hail up, because it's going to go up at some point, might as well be now. Anyways, I go for Blizzard on Obama Snow. It does not do a whole lot, so this is probably a specially defensive variant. He goes for Giga Drain and gets hurt by Liquid Ooze because Tentacruel is fucking awesome like that. And yeah. So I switch out of there because I can't really do much to this Obama Snow, and I bring out Miss Piggy the Mammoth Swine. And he switches out to Cloyster, so we double switch. I go for the Super Power on the next turn to try and damage Cloyster because I think this is the Setup Sweeper variant. But surprise, surprise, it's a wall variant, because he starts setting up toxic spikes. And I'm like, huh, okay. So I'm not as scared of this cloister as I was before. So I go for another superpower just to deal some extra damage. I'm not too concerned about my Mammoth Swine, but, uh, yeah. I should probably, be, I probably should have been, but, oh well. So now there's two layers of toxic spikes. That's going to cause problems for me later in the game, so I switch out to Tentacruel to get rid of those because poison types can get rid of toxic spikes just by uh, stepping on them. Or I guess floating on top of them in Tentacruel's case, I don't know. And as I go for a Giga Drain on this Cloyster, that takes him out. So yeah, one annoying wall to take care of. I get damaged by the Hail. And next he sends out Rotom Wash. I think, I thought this was a Choice Scarf variant, so I back out of there and go into Obama Snow to take whatever deck he has. But he goes for Will-O-Wisp, so that should tell me right away that this thing is not choiced. So, yeah, yeah. I decide to set up a substitute next turn. He goes for the Will-O-Wisp again and burns me. Which isn't a big deal, because Obama Snow can just get its health back with Leech Seed and Leftovers and stuff like that. So I set up that substitute... And he goes for Hydro Pump next turn. Obama Snow takes that like a champion. And I go for Leech Seed. Now, Leech Seed Obama Snow is probably the best Obama Snow you can run. I used to run a Choice Scarf variant just to give Obama Snow some offensive prowess, but um, honestly, his speed is too low to be a good Scarfer. So, yeah, Sub Seed Obama Snow is the way to go. <laughs> that run. I go for Protect next turn as he goes for the Volt Switch. So he can't back out of there. I know what he's going to try to do. He's going to switch out and try and switch into something to take out my Obama Snow. What that something is, I'm not sure yet, but... He backs out of there and goes into Mammoth Swine. So Mammoth Swine is the thing that's going to try and kill my Obama Snow. I go for Blizzard. That does a significant amount to Mammoth Swine. Not a whole lot in terms of uh, 2H KOing, but it does enough. It does enough. Especially since Mammoth Swine can't recover. So yeah, Bama Snow takes that superpower, or at least his substitute does. I go for Blizzard. That brings Mammoth Swine into the red zone. 
And basically, I need to get the fuck out of here. So I go into Gliscor, because I know the superpower is coming. Superpower does nothing to Gliscor at all. And his attack and defense gets lowered even more. Now, I figured he was going to switch into Rotom W after this. But I decided to play it safe and just go for the Earthquake anyway. But he does switch into Rotom W, so... Yeah, that was pretty much a wasted turn, but oh well. I get that Poison Heal recovery. This is great to use in Hail because of Poison Heal. It recovers more damage than leftovers, so yeah. And now the Beast Q Rem has arrived. I decide to uh, switch him in to take whatever he's got, and he goes for Pain Split. Which is kind of odd, but it works. So I go for the Substitute. This is the Sub Roost Q Rem set. So the move set is Substitute, Roost, Blizzard, and Earth Power. I go for Blizzard on this Mammoth Swine. I should have gone for Earth Power, but because um, Blizzard has limited ammunition and I'm kind of going to need it. So yeah, anyways, he switches out to Gliscor for some reason, goes to Protect. And I go for Blizzard, so that's two uses of Blizzard out of eight. So yeah, the clock is kind of ticking on my q Rem's effectiveness, but watch. He gets the job done. So he switches out into Rotom Wash to take the Blizzard. And lo and behold, I score a crit! This probably changed the game right here. I wouldn't have been able to keep QRM out as long had I not gotten that crit. So yeah. I go for Roost on the next turn, trying to preserve my Blizzards. But he goes for Pain Split, and I'm guessing Pain Split doesn't go through Substitutes. So that's why that didn't work. Substitutes are just so handy. They block status and a whole bunch of other moves. I go for Blizzard. He goes for Hydro Pump. That knocks out my sub. And yeah. So I go for the Substitute just to get my defenses back up. He tries to go for Pain Split one more time in a desperate attempt to get some health back. But that doesn't really work out, because I am faster than Rotom W. So I go for Blizzard, that finishes off Rotom W. I forget how many times I use Blizzard this match, so far. But um, I eventually use all of them by the time I get through this guy's team. And now, here comes the epic q -Rem sweep. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now how was that? QRM did fucking work this match, I tell ya. He did work. Alright, so that was it. Good game, Camarot, or whatever your name is. Yeah, it's Camarot. I'm assuming that's the Asian pronunciation of Camelot. <laughs> that was so racist. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, see you all next time, guys. And I promise, no more racist jokes.